It was early morning on the island of Sodor. Duncan was waiting for Peter Sand, who was bringing some freight cars for him, to take to Strawberry Grove. Duncan was also to take the headmaster and the new organ. While they waited, the headmaster played a lively tune. Peter Sam had steamed all through the night to bring Duncan his wagons. But as he approached the junction, a low-hanging branch knocked his whistle off. This meant he couldn't work until he got a new one. I can't run on the tracks without my whistle, chuffed Peter Sam. That would be too dangerous. An engine's not an engine without a whistle, boasted Duncan. And just to prove it, he let off a big blast. But the rest of the engines just ignored him. Duncan chuffed away in a big huff. He was cross. They're jealous of my fine whistle, Duncan huffed. As he steamed through the countryside. He whistled at some sheep. They were too busy eating grass to take notice. Bah, said Duncan. I need to whistle louder and longer next time. Soon Duncan approached a level crossing where Elizabeth, the quarry truck, waited with a farmer's prize bull. This time, Duncan whistled as loud and as long as he could. Stop that nonsense, Duncan, Elizabeth called. Duncan carried on cheerfully down the track. He hadn't noticed his whistle had come loose. Then Duncan saw Terrence plowing a field. He'll get the loudest and longest whistle yet, chortled to himself. And it blew so hard, his whistle shot off like a mighty rock and landed out of sight. Everyone searched for Duncan's whistle, but it was nowhere to be seen. We're stuck, said his driver. We can't move without a whistle. It would be too dangerous. Leave it to me, the headmaster said. For the rest of the day, Duncan didn't make a sound. But the headmaster's organ did. As Duncan delivered his freight cars, the headmaster tooted the organ at every crossing and every stop. It alerted everyone just as well as a whistle would, although Duncan didn't think so. Finally, Duncan finished delivering the last of his freight cars. engine. Let's whistle along, said Reneas. Whistle, Scar Lowy. But Peter Sam, who had a shiny new whistle, felt sorry for Duncan. You really did well to deliver your goods without a whistle, he said. Do you think so, said Duncan, cheering up a bit? Absolutely, said Peter Sam, even though an engine's not an engine without a whistle. Or an organ, chuckled the headmaster, and he tooted the organ and all the engines tooted back, except Duncan, who just grinned. 